Welcome to tutorial 7 on Xcode Swift. Uh, today we're going to cover uh, images and launch applications, uh, launch icons and app icons in your applications. So we're going to look at how to resize um, the app icons to suit the various iPhone and iPad models and this is this is one area where Apple uh, has sort of in my opinion let um, things get out of control a bit because if you have a look at the Xcode images folder here you'll see that there are numerous uh, different uh, launch icon image sizes here for all the different versions of the iPhone and iPad that there uh, that there is going around out there, so there's a bit of work to be done in terms of uh, catering for uh, the different uh, types and models of uh, iPhones and iPads. So just very quickly going to run through how to do that uh, using Photoshop. So if you've got an image uh, or a photo, what you can do is uh, you can launch uh, Photoshop. I'll just wait for it to load. And what you can do is open up your original photo or image which we'll do here we might get rid of those windows for now And you can see here we have a standard size photo. What we're going to do is resize it. Now, the easiest way to do that is to go to the image menu in Photoshop and select uh, image size. Now, sometimes you might have constrained proportions selected by default. So what you need to do is uncheck that box so you can actually change the width and the height of the image. Now, you're probably wondering well, what sort of size images should I be creating? Um, and basically if you look at the iOS um, guidelines, you can see here, and this is available online for free, you can even download it as uh, as part of your iBook collection for free and you can see here uh, we have a table that lists all the different uh, app icon sizes required for the different models okay and uh, as you can see it's quite um, an extensive list uh, not just for app icons also for launch icons um, also for toolbar and navigation bar icons there's different sizes there as well and on it goes um, to uh, tab bar icons okay and uh, obviously PNG format is recommended and we don't use interlaced PNGs so I'll just give you an example of uh, how to make um, this image smaller We'll just make this um, a 58 by 58 uh, setting icon uh, for the iPhone 6, 5, 
4 and below uh, down to about the iPad 2. So we'll just change that to 58 in width. And we'll change the height to 58 as well. We'll leave uh, bicubic best for smoothing uh, gradients as it is. Go OK. As you can see, it's actually made a very small image here, which we can then save. And we can change that to, usually a good idea to change it to the actual size that it is. Uh, make sure it's a PNG format and not JPEG, which is what it comes up as by default. Okay. And when you've got that, just simply save the image in your folder. Now, this PNG options, interlaced options comes up. Make sure you've got none selected and click OK. And there it is. Now, what you'll need to do is for your applications is you'll need to use Photoshop to make these image sizes for the different models of iPhone and iPad. And then what you'll need to do once you have these launch icons and app icons sorted and completed, we'll open up our Xcode app and I'll just show you where these images have been placed in Xcode. So you can uh, do that when it's your turn to make your application. Let's move that across. Okay, so we'll just make this a little bit smaller again. Okay, so what we have here is we have the app icon uh, selection with the range of images here and all you do is simply drag the images into the right app icon slot. Okay, so um, and if you need to, you can check to see that you've got the right ones. So if we tap on that there, and we go to there, it will actually tell us uh, what size image or icon we have for the app icon for this one here, for the iOS 5 and 6 versions. We've got 58 by 58 pixels. Okay. Um, what you'll also notice is that you've got these 2x and 3x. Okay, and what you need to do is make sure that uh, for those app icons that you have at the start of the file name the at 2x prefix or at 3x prefix at the start of the file name. If you don't, uh, these won't actually go into um, the app icons and if they do, you'll just get uh, error messages when you try and run your application. If we go to the launch image, now by default the launch image isn't actually there. And what you need to do is, you can see here we've got a plus sign. You simply click on the plus sign. I'll just make that a bit smaller so you can see it. So you click on the plus sign. You can see here you're given a range of options from the menu. And the one that you need to select is the new launch image. And that will 
uh, include a launch image which you can then use to include all the different launch images for all the different models of iPhones and iPads. Okay, and you just need to make sure you put them in the right place. If you do get errors for putting the wrong one in, and I'll give you an example of that now, um, I've got down here the iPad landscape one and two. I'll simply select Move that over here. Um, let's just say I drag the 320 by 480 .png image into the iPad landscape one. Now immediately you can see I already have an error message coming up. And what I can do is I can actually click on that error message and over here it will tell me it will say ambiguous content uh, the launch image is uh, 320 by 480 but it should be 1024 by 768 so what I can now do go back over here select a 1024 by 768 image that I've already completed using Photoshop and drag it where it should be. And you can see the error message has uh, disappeared. Okay, so a bit of work to do there with Photoshop and placing the images in the correct places, but um, it's one of those things you have to do. And um, yeah, hopefully that's helped you understand uh, how to do that.